This is a Kiyazi bracelet, and there is a lot going on here. There are actually several layers of silver, like for instance on the back, I don't know if you can see that. But so what he's done is started with a layer of silver, heavy layer of silver, and he starts it flat, takes his coping saw, and starts cutting out designs. Uh, Key is really fond of the dragonfly. You'll see that on there a lot. He does stylized uh, petroglyph symbols and even borrows some of the Hopi figure design like the rain and that. He taps out these little curly uh, spirals in there. But So all this is done on the first layer of silver. And then what he does is takes another heavy layer of silver and impresses it in a linear fashion and also you can see that the background here so it has the the deep impressed lines in it but you'll also see the dragonflies and the the petroglyph images on there as well so th what he does is that first layer that back layer he solders that to this second layer makes for a pretty heavy uh, band and this is they're still flat at this point and then he takes these uh, cutouts these heavy cutouts of, of the similar designs and he'll solder those on to that bracelet so there are actually three levels and three dimensions to this bracelet very very interesting and, and incredibly time-consuming it takes a top-notch silversmith to even get to this point but so three levels you've got it all laid on there everything soldered and then you shape it get the shape get the polish really nice and then you put it on a mandrel, on a, an oval mandrel, and you shape it to the wrist, to f for the wrist uh, shape here. But very complicated work, and really comes out nice. When you look at this, you, you can just see the dimension, and you can actually feel it as well, which is neat, because you can tell how, how many layers of silver he has here, and, and the time he took to create these looks really an interesting piece by Kiyazi.